right what's going on folks i know it's been a while i'm here with this grom v-line vl2 unit that was installed a while ago um i had an issue where i updated the firmware and the unit just started freezing on me so i finally had to bite the bullet and order this 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 what i call ridiculousness of an order uh, SD card to update to Android 8.1 because I was told that we do not support this anymore from Grom so here it is right there V line VL2 Android 8.1 upgrade so $14.98 shipping $20 I mean it's crazy you pre-order a unit and you gotta pay $20 for something that was stated to be included, you know, supposedly, right? So here we have the SD card. I don't understand what is so special about this SD card. It's not even like a brand that is known. It's some off brand, right? Look at this. What the heck is this? Can't even get this thing in focus here. Cloud disk, four gigs, class four, right? So here it comes in, package, instructions, SD card. So you're supposed to reboot the unit, plug in this card, and update the system. So what I'll do here is I'll go into the settings, and we're supposed to go down here to the about device, go into the system updates, Go down and then you hit reboot to recovery. Hit yes, system's gonna reboot. And then once it gets into this recovery mode, that's when the SD card goes in. But I don't understand what the big deal is about this. Oh, you have to order this from us because it's some special card and it has to be formatted properly or else you're gonna brick the unit, blah, blah, blah. Why couldn't they just give us instructions of what needs to be done for this off-brand SD card? I think some of the people who ordered it first initially got a Kingston, at least it was actually a Kingston. This is a cloud disk, so so much for this special need of a formatted specifically micro SD card that instructions could not be given to users to download and extract the files to an SD card in the appropriate fashion. So I don't know what's up with that. But it looks like there's an issue here because we're not getting any response. Great. So unfortunately you're seeing here live you know it's a great unit but I feel like customer support struggles and reliability with this unit it just seems to be off but it is a great option to add a fully integrated OEM style tablet into your vehicle it's, it's great when it works when it works it's great um, I don't know what in the world is happening right now there's no SD card in the slot the rebooting seems to be stuck. So for now, I'm just gonna maybe re restart the car, shut it down, restart it, see what happens. All right, so we're back at this thing again. Um, yeah, this is just this is just the reality of this unit. What I've realized is that when the unit sits out in the heat. Uh, the heat actually does impact it to some extent. So I took the unit out, left it in the garage, it cooled off overnight, and I think everything should be good to go now. So we'll try it out, see what happens. Here's the instruction sheet that it comes with. Who needs that, right? <laughs> All right, so back at this, uh, at this update again. We'll see if we can get this thing to work this time. So again, here's the micro SD card. And 
I'm gonna go through the sequence here. Go to settings. Go all the way down to about device. V-line system updates. Scroll all the way down. Reboot to recovery. Don't know how long this is gonna take, but hopefully this should work this time around. So unfortunately, you know, it's a great unit and all, but like I said, customer service, not the best. I, I don't see why I should have to pay 20 bucks for an upgrade that was promised. So you promised all of these people who pre-ordered a unit, they'd get a, an update. Uh, and even though you decide not to do seven, Android seven, the seven series of Android, you decide to jump to the eight and you can't fulfill the promise, it is what it is. So here's 20 bucks right here. You'll see the option right there, update to Android 8.1 from SD. So what you gotta do is plug this boy right here, face up, into the slot. And it's in there. And let's see if this works this time. Update to 8.1. Okay. Um, according to the instructions that, as I said, who needs that? Maybe I need them. It says that, make sure you keep the car running. Oh, boom, there it goes, it's running. All right, so we're good to go. Um, so it's doing the update right now. And then all it tells you is don't remove the card until it uh, is done said the process can take up to 10 minutes to complete and at the end you'll see this on the screen system update successful please remove the SD card so uh, it may take 10 minutes I have no idea we'll see how long it actually takes here I don't know if I'm gonna let this thing run the entire time or just fast track the video but here it is. Any additional comments on this unit? Again, like I said, it's a great unit. Uh, the concept behind it is, is fantastic. To have a, a unit in the car that works with the in-dash system, that's great. I mean, because I necessarily don't want to put uh, a random aftermarket unit in, in my ISF. Uh, you know, back in the days of the Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah, you rip out the old unit and you put in a, anything you want. Flip out screen, uh, detachable face. Some some of you guys may know may know what that life was like back in the day, but for right now, uh, this, this works out pretty good. Um, I installed mine here to go into the glove box. I saw a, a, a video where somebody tucked it away here and um, had like some removable maybe some velcro type strap to pull it apart for me that 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 that's not uh efficient because there's really not that much space uh in the center console so unit sits over there uh for those who, who may not know how it works and, and the ports available i've got an hdmi here that i've hooked up that i use uh with an iphone cord you do have the option to add two USB drives and HDMI out. You've got the SD card, and I think that's it there, little antenna there. That's the uh, plug for the mic that runs uh, wherever I installed it. Who knows? I don't even remember where I put the thing, but it's up in there. And then the other plug's in the back. All right, so they said it may take up to 10 minutes. As you can see, it was pretty quick there system update successful please remove the sd card so after removing the sd card update is done simply wait until the new system load and displays the disclaimer screen so boom there you have it folks 20 bucks and the new system is up and running 20 bucks right there um what I'll probably do is I'll probably see if I can understand what is so special about this particular card. Uh, why they couldn't just, you know, give us an image to download. I have no idea. But I'll check it out and see if I can, you know, see anything what's so special about the formatting. But here's the unit. Got the new updated version there. 
Uh, so yeah, this is a long time coming for me. I tried to avoid it as long as I could, but it is time to, to get updated to Android 8.1. Uh, I think uh, get some more of the uh, improved feature set on here so there it is the the interface is a little different than than, than the first uh, the old 5.1 that was running and I believe if I'm not mistaken there's something about like uh, wireless carplay available Oh, so it is a very a little different of a, a, an interface um, all right let's see what the settings looks like pretty pretty similar and I, I, I did look at uh, there was some instructions about getting wireless carplay up and running let me see if I let me go grab my phone and see if I can uh, get get a view of this this whole wireless ordeal all right so let's give this a shot here I'm gonna hop into settings Bluetooth what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair a new device so I'm gonna hook up this phone to this device pair that pair that okay so pairing right now all right and I think in this nope not here okay let's back out of there cast nothing there okay so I think since this is all new now I need to re-add CarPlay for one, okay. I think if we go into CarPlay, there's a setting in here. Uh, select available wireless CarPlay device. Uh, let's see. Boom. Okay. Waiting. CarPlay. Okay, so uh, select available car place to play device. There it is, boom, selecting it. Tap to connect. Connecting. Okay. Alright, maybe let's just go back. Oh, there we go, boom. Nope, is that it? Nope, that's just the settings. Okay, maybe I need to actually go check out the uh, instructions here because I'm not seeing anything different here. But apparently through Bluetooth, being connected to this unit, you're supposed to be able to wirelessly do CarPlay. There it is. All right, so it finally came up. So that's uh, that's pretty dope. So again, like I said, you know, the 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 unit is it's nice to have something that works. It's just more about the consistency, right? It's about the consistency of this thing actually working. But yes, with the update, you do you do gain wireless CarPlay, which is pretty neat. Um, so yeah, that's that. So I'll have to you know re-add some of the apps I had on here. So that's the instructions right there. The unit's updated to Android 8.1. Uh, wireless CarPlay works. Um, you know that's a great question. Let's see, Android Auto. I wonder if. Android Auto also has any wireless options. That's it's gonna be a, a great thing to check out. All right, give me a sec. Let me see what I can do on that one. Okay, so I just hooked up a uh, Android device. There is no wireless option 
yet for Android, so it looks like they're catering more towards iPhone users than Android at this point. But there is an Android Auto option available on this 8.1, so I guess that's good. So as you can see, here are the changes. The UI is different. Icons are a little different. Virtually, it's going to be the same thing. You know, it's going to function the same way like the last, the last one did. You can add your AV. Um, and let's see what comes on. These are, I guess, all the standard things that are already there. Add the YouTube back in. So, yeah, a little bit of change. Uh, looks good. Hopefully, it continues to work as intended. I do know, like I mentioned before, the heat does impact this thing. So, for now, I guess that's it. Units updated. Again, I'll check on this this uh, this uh, card here to see what's so special about it. Because 20 bucks, I mean, come on. So, yeah. That's it on the V-Line. VL2. Android 8.1 update. I'll catch you guys later. All right, so real quick before... I end this video. As you can see, there's the file structure. This is just a regular FAT32 formatted S micro SD card. So, you know, not sure what's so special about this where, you know, as I mentioned, we they couldn't give an image to download. The total space is only taking up 799 megabytes. So, I mean, come on. But that's it for now. Um, you know, I'll, I'll post more on, on, on this unit as I have issues or or need to to update or change anything. But ultimately, I mean, for me, the customer service is not that great. You know, they, they wouldn't even offer me a discount on the, the SD card. Nothing. I mean, I was having a legitimate issue where the unit was frozen and they would not offer me anything. So it is what it is. You know, you just got to deal with it as it comes. This is the way it is. You accept it and you move on. All right. Catch you guys later.